welcome to the project demonstration of solar wind grid based electric vehicle battery charging system uh, station so here we are going to provide the uh, non renewable uh, renewable sources power generation by using the wind so from this wind turbine and from the solar solar panel will provide us the voltage so that is given as input to this battery so here using 12 volt 2 amps battery so the source voltage Uh, given to the battery through this charging circuit so this is a charging circuit for the wind and this is a charging circuit for the solar panel and this is a charging circuit for the grid so we can see that these three charging circuits looks like same so this charging circuit consists of four diodes as rectifier purpose when we provided the ac power source input to this one and the capacitor will remove the pulses if is any ripple generated and these two diodes will work as a unidirectional current flow means whenever the battery is fully charged then the battery will become the high potential one and uh, the solar source will become the low potential if there is no sunlight available from this sources or wind wind is not available for this wind source so then these diodes will block the current flow from the battery to this sources so that we can protect the source and uh, as well as charging circuits so this led indications will show the availability of from the respective source so right coming to this rectifier section so when we are providing the 230 volts ac to this transformer so the transformer will step down the 230 volts ac to 12 volts ac because of we need the required voltage is 12 volts for this 12 volts battery so that will be converted into the pulsating dc with the help of this bridge rectifier and the capacitor will remove the pulses it will make it as a smooth dc and that is sufficient to charge a battery through the diodes will sending that to the battery but now when we are providing the uh, voltage from the solar panel these diodes use it to convert the ac to dc but we are providing dc power source so here these di uh, rectifier uh, diodes will act as a polarity corrector means if we connect this solar panel in reverse direction so then if we didn't place these four diodes so directly place to minus and minus to plus will be given to the charging circuit so that it will damage the charging circuit so that for that purpose we need to use this four diodes as a polarity correctors when we providing the dc source input to this one from the solar panel and coming to the wind also if we rotate this in clockwise so we'll get plus plus minus minus from the dynamo when we rotate this in counter clockwise so we will get the reverse polarity that will be again rectified by this bridge rectifier circuit so means the bridge rectifier circuit will act as a rectifier polarity corrector for the wind and solar and ac to dc converter in this grid connection so after this 12 volts parallelly given to this battery so whenever the three sources available then the charging time will be decreased from 6 hours to 2 hours so if it is individually charged from the sources whether it is a transformer 8 hours solar panel 8 hours and wind yeah it was is individually so when the three are connected then maximum of two hours only it will be fully charged so after that when you want to charge a electrical vehicle battery charging then we need to provide the minimum of minimum 28 volts to 52 volts based on the electrical vehicle battery ratings so when this when the battery is fully charged it will provide up to 54 volts when you want to charge a battery of 48 volts then we need to provide the at least of 52 volts then only the battery will be fully charged so for that purpose we need to convert the dc 12 volts to ac 230 volts and from there to we are going to step down that and that will be given as input source voltage to the electrical vehicle so for that purpose 12 volts dc is given as input to the h bit circuit so here the h bit circuit will convert the 12 volts 2 amps dc to 12 volts 2 amps ac that will be done by our peak microcontroller because we need to provide the 50 hertz frequency to convert the dc to ac that 50 hertz frequency is given as trigger pulse input to this mosfets h bridge circuit means 5 volts dc from the microcontroller and 5 volts ac from this wires and that will be again converted to 12 volts ac from this h bridge circuit and that will be stepped out to 230 volts maximum of ac from this step up transformer and that is the input to this again rectifier circuit here means we need the dc power source and further we are going to convert that dc and we are going to measuring the voltage on this multimeter so let us see the demonstration so this is the charging section from the grid 
and as a low lighting is available from the sun the solar panel that's why it's low lighting intensity from the solar station and when we on the cut which you can check the voltage right so just the load connected as we are producing the ac so we need to provide the more power into the battery we need to keep this battery under charging at least of 6 to 8 hours then we'll get the maximum voltage that will be shown on this multimeter so in this way we are going to design a uh, electrical vehicle charging station by using the hybrid power source inputs the grid solar and the wind